you actually took over for Larry King, mm. and you were you you had that show from 2011 to 2014. Yeah, and during that entire time, now when Larry was on, mm. I probably did his show 50 times. Yeah, I guest hosted for him probably 25 times. Mm. I hosted his 70th birthday surprise where it started out and the first 10 minutes of the show went normal and then I stood up and said, okay, stop, you come over here, I'm coming over there, I'm the host tonight, this is your 70th surprise birthday party and we had like 48 guests and side story about 10 minutes in, the prompter eats itself. <laughs> so I've got 48 guests all over the world by satellite and in studio, including Mike Wallace. No prompter. So I'm, I'm thinking all i got to do is get to the end of the hour, and I'm finally done. <laughs> I get to the end of the hour, and they say in my ear, network is called. This is going so well, they want to extend 30 minutes. <laughs> going, oh, shit, are you kidding me? I, I can't believe it. But I do that show like 50 times, mm -hmm. guest hosted all of these times. You take over the show for four years. I never got invited <laughs> onto the show. You did get invited. No, I did not. Really? I did not get invited onto that show. Are you serious? I got invited one time to come talk about some topic for yeah. a segment. And I said, tell them to kiss my ass. <laughs> if, <I'm, clears throat> if, I am not, if I'm not worthy of being the topic, if I'm not worthy of being the guest on the show... Tell him to kiss my this, ass. This is coming. this is revenge today, isn't yeah, it? This is, this so, is takedown. I'm just you waited you, a long time for this. I'm just telling you what's happening from this point <laughs> forward. Well, I can only apologize. It certainly wouldn't <clears throat> have been anything personal. I love you. But so uh, ne never was I invited to be on the show in four years after being probably the most frequent, prolific guest ever on Larry King. I was, just I was never invited to be on your I show. I was just playing hard to get. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> You're still eating away. No, it doesn't bother me at all, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that you was know, so my, odd. My favorite. Because I'm such a big fan of yours. Well, the only person that, <clears throat> that uh, took it worse, my show than you, was Larry himself. Who, about a month after I started, I, I was trying to, you know, say all the right things. I said, "Look, this is like following Frank Sinatra at the Sands <clears> in <throat> Vegas and all that kind of thing." And Larry was having none of it. And about a month into my tenure, he finally snapped and he said, uh, he gave an interview and he said. You know, watching Piers' show is like watching my mother-in-law drive my favorite Bentley over a cliff. <laughs> and so CNN were like, well, listen, you can't, don't respond, all right? Just please do not, don't get into a war with Larry King. You're not going to win. I went, okay. But of course, I'm, I'm British and the Brits, you know, if, if someone <clears throat> punches us in the face, we're always going to whack back. So about a week later, I was doing some red carpet thing and they said, so what do you make of Larry King saying, his, you know, your show reminds him of his mother-in-law driving your his favorite Bentley over a cliff. I went, well, to be fair to Larry... He is an expert in mother-in-laws. He's had eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think Larry grudgingly admired the gag, actually. Yeah, he had to, because I know him. He would like that. <laughs>